Ever pondered on how to unlock the superpower of speed reading? In the busy world of today, everyone is in a rush, trying to consume as much information as possible in the shortest amount of time. But before we unlock the secrets of speed reading, we have a small favor to ask you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Let's start. How exactly does one go about mastering this skill? It is a combination of several techniques, exercises, and practices that can significantly increase your reading speed. Imagine flipping through pages at lightning speed, yet retaining and understanding all the information. This is not just about skimming through text, it's about efficient and effective reading. Today, we're diving into specific techniques and practices that can help you read faster and absorb more information. First, let's lay the foundation with mental preparation. This is not merely about a quest for a serene setting to draw your attention towards the book. It's about constructing a mental arena of silence and tranquility, a zone where only you and your book exist, untouched by the everyday chaos of life. It's about shutting off the distractions of the world to make room for the wealth of knowledge that awaits you on the pages of your book. One of the ways you can achieve this is by establishing a pre-reading ritual, a routine that prepares your mind to transition the hustle of life to the quiet, introspective world of reading. This could be a few minutes of deep breathing or a short meditation session. Perhaps you might like to visualize the world you are about to plunge into envisaging characters, the landscape, the emotions. Such a ritual not only marks the shift from your daily activities to reading time, but also primes your brain, alerting it to the incoming influx of new information. It's like a warm up for your mind before a mental marathon of reading. So don't just find a quiet spot to read. Next, we tackle sub-vocalization, that inner voice that echoes each word in your mind as you read. The concept of sub-vocalization fundamentally is a natural process we develop from our early stages of reading. It is almost akin to having a little narrator inside our heads, silently pronouncing each word we read. While it may seem benign, subvocalization can significantly hamper our reading speed. The main problem with subvocalization is that it constricts us to our speaking speed, not our reading speed. Therefore, it essentially becomes a barrier, limiting our capacity to read quickly. This can be problematic in situations where speed reading is necessary, such as time-limited exams, or when we're faced with vast amounts of information. Minimizing this habit can be a game-changer, significantly increasing your reading speed and overall comprehension. But how can we achieve this? One effective method is to practice reading in clusters. Instead of focusing on each individual word, we practice in groups of words or phrases. By doing this, we can visually take in more information at once, thus reducing the amount of internal dialogue. This technique, though it may seem daunting at first, can drastically enhance your reading abilities. It's like learning to juggle with more balls at once. With practice, you'll find that your reading speed can increase exponentially, proving the power and effectiveness of reducing subvocalization. The third step is expanding your visual field. This concept might seem a little abstract at first, like trying to grasp the wind, but with practice, it becomes second nature. The idea is simple. By encompassing more words in one single glance, you're allowing your brain to process more information at a faster rate. Imagine your eyes as a camera, capturing a wide shot of a scene, rather than focusing on each individual object. By doing so, you're not just seeing more, but understanding more. See, when you read, you don't just look at words, you absorb them, you comprehend them. And the more words you can absorb in a single glance, the quicker you'll comprehend a text. So the trick is to train your eyes to sweep horizontally across a line of text, just like a scanner. This technique not only enhances your reading speed, but also your comprehension. It may be hard in the beginning, but with persistence, you will get the hang of it. You'll start noticing that you're reading more quickly, understanding more thoroughly, and retaining more efficiently. Rather than fixating on each word, try to sweep your eyes horizontally across a line of text. Fourth, consider using visual guides. This practice may seem inconsequential, but it is highly effective in enhancing your reading efficiency. Imagine you're reading a complex book filled with intricate details and concepts. Your mind might wander off, or you might lose your place in the sea of words. Here is where the use of a visual guide becomes paramount. 
It could be as simple as a finger or as conventional as a pen. These tools can serve as your compass in the vast ocean of letters, guiding your eyes along the lines of text, serving as an anchor, helping you to stay on track. This prevents unnecessary backtracking, the act of re-reading lines you've already covered because you've lost your place. It's a common problem that slows down reading significantly. So, by using a visual guide, you not only maintain your pace, but also enhance your reading comprehension. It's a small step, but its impact is substantial. This simple trick can make your reading smoother and faster. Then we have peripheral reading. This unique technique, quite intriguing in nature, involves an extraordinary method of absorbing words. Imagine you're in the middle of reading a book or a newspaper. Your eyes naturally are focused center of the sentence where the crux of the matter is. However, did you ever notice that the corners of your eyes, the peripherals as we call them, are also actively picking up words? Yes, they are not directly looking at them, but they are most certainly not idle. This unconventional method is not about staring or glaring, but a subtle, softer focus that you deploy on the side the words that dwell on the fringes of your vision are absorbed without your active awareness. Such a technique, once mastered, could revolutionize your reading style. It's about giving your eyes the freedom to roam, to explore beyond the tunnel vision we often restrict them to. How so, you might ask? Well, it's quite simple. By focusing on the center of a sentence while simultaneously allowing the periphery of your vision to consume the adjacent words, you're actually expanding the horizons of your reading capacity. This ingenious method allows you to process information faster, enhancing your overall reading experience. Can you imagine the wonder of being able to read a sentence and understanding its context without having to dart your eyes from one end to the other? Peripheral reading, therefore, is not just a technique, but a newfound way to embrace reading. It's like unlocking a new level in a game where you are the player and the words are the points to be scored. So, are you ready to step up your game? Focusing on the center of a sentence and allowing the periphery of your vision to absorb adjacent words can broaden your reading scope. But before you dive into these techniques, it's crucial to have a clear understanding of your present-day reading pace. This essential step is often overlooked, but it's vital in order to have a starting point from which to measure your progress. Bear in mind that knowing your baseline, your default reading rate without applying any new techniques, is a fundamental aspect of this overall process. This may seem like a negligible detail, but it's of paramount importance. It will serve as your personal reading speed metronome, a pulse check on how quickly you can digest information in its written form. It's the basis upon which all subsequent improvements will be built. To do this, you simply need to engage in a straightforward task. Time yourself while reading a page of text. You could use a physical stopwatch or the timer function on your smartphone. The aim is to establish how long it takes you to get through a standard page of text. It's a straightforward but powerful tool in this process of improvement. Remember to keep a thorough record of each timed reading session. This will give you a rich tapestry of data points that you can use to track your advancement over time. You'll be able to see how much you've improved and identify any patterns it's a concrete way to document your journey towards becoming a more efficient reader. To further boost your reading speed, dedicate time to specific training exercises. Participate in online speed reading exercises or use apps that offer structured practices. Finally, practice selective reading. Develop the ability to identify crucial points in a text and focus on those. A quick read of titles, subtitles, and opening paragraphs can give you an overview before delving into the full text. In conclusion, speed reading is a journey, not just a destination. It's about comprehension and retention, not just speed. As you incorporate these strategies into your reading routine, you're developing a significant skill. It's not just about reading faster, it's about navigating the vast world of knowledge with agility and dexterity. So try these techniques, adjust as needed, and watch as your reading ability evolves over time.